Manchin, Heidkamp, Donnelly signal possible tax cut support midterm election prospects are hanging over their every move as Republicans barrel toward producing broad tax cut legislation, three Senate Democrats are trying to leverage their way into the negotiations. Senators Joe Manchin of West Virginia, Joe Donnelly of Indiana, and Heidi Heitkamp of North Dakota were the only three Democrats in the chamber who declined in August to sign their party's list of conditions for supporting tax legislation. Soon after, the wooing, and occasional needling, began, including a private dinner with President Donald Trump and visits by the president to their home states. Now that House Republicans have released their tax plan, with Senate Republicans set to follow suit as early as Thursday. The views of the three minority party lawmakers are suddenly in demand. At Manchin's behest, White House economic adviser Gary Cohn and Mark Short, the administration's chief lobbyist, headed to Capitol Hill on Tuesday afternoon to meet with a group of about a dozen Senate Democrats about the tax plan. In a sign of the administration's unease with a Republican only strategy, Trump surprised the group by calling in via Cohn's mobile phone from Seoul. He thanked us for being there and hoped that we can find a path and we can all work together, Manchin said. Trump said he would like to get a bipartisan deal done, but Manchin said he told the president that Republicans weren't acting like they're interested in Democratic input.